We've put together some Ashcan Studio student self-portraits that are examples of the excellent work top art schools and university art programs look for in a potential student, and we're going to talk about why they're so good. A good exercise is to pause at each image and think about or write down why you think they're good portfolio pieces. This student took the idea of ocean waves, created the wave shapes out of cardboard, pieced them together to create a sculptural ocean scene, and then made a painting of themselves, cut it out, and placed it in the ocean waves. This self-portrait is such a strong art portfolio piece because it takes the idea of a self-portrait and pushes the idea much further. It's playful, it shows inventiveness, a willingness to try uncommon materials, and the ability to create a large-scale three-dimensional sculpture. It also shows a dedication to art making. To the top schools and art programs, these are ideal traits for a potential student. This student took two straightforward self-portraits and then took it a step further and cut them apart to make them sculptural. This self-portrait is a strong art portfolio piece because it's brave, expressive, and it shows an understanding of shapes and three-dimensionality. This student did the same thing in a different way. This student depicted themselves in action riding a skateboard. It tells the viewer something about them, that they like to skateboard, and it shows a technical understanding of the movement of the figure. Anytime you can show admissions something about what interests you, and at the same time how good your technical abilities are, it's a great thing. This student also used complementary colors, in this case orange and blue, which is always a trick you can do to make your piece stand out. This student used complementary colors in their large-scale self-portrait painting as well. And this student also found a way to show their skills in drawing the human form in motion in their self-portrait. This self-portrait was made with watercolor and printmaking on paper. They used a distinctive facial characteristic that they have, in this case rosy cheeks, and emphasized the rosy cheeks by framing their face with fruits that are the same color using linocut stamps. It also gives you the sense that they have a bright and cheerful attitude. This is so successful because it's fun, it's mixed media, which almost always adds to a piece of art, and it tells admissions what kind of person you are. This student used food in their mixed media self-portrait as well, in a very different way, giving it a very different feeling. This student used the actual food to sculpt a portrait of themselves and then pulled it apart. They created a video of the process, so it becomes performance art as well. Is there a way that you can use a certain food in your self-portrait to tell admissions more about you? In what ways can you push the idea into a mixed media or a performance piece? This student created a sculptural piece and also made a film of it. It's not a direct self-portrait. They made a sculpture of a landscape with their facial features on it. This one's great because it's sculptural, which most students don't do. And additionally, they pushed it even further by making it kinetic, with the smoke coming from the nose and the other moving pieces. It's playful, it shows inventiveness, and a willingness to think of themselves in an uncommon way and depict that with uncommon materials. This student put themselves literally directly inside their self-portrait. This one is so outstanding because they have crossed so many boundaries, painting, sculpture, photography, and performance. It's mysterious and also vulnerable and at the same time bold. This is definitely something that admissions counselors do not see every day, which is exactly what you want. This self-portrait, although more direct, is mostly about the other elements in the composition. The self-portrait is great because they show only a small part of themselves and every other part of the composition tells admissions a story about them. You can try doing this too. Start with a small part of your face and then intuitively add elements, glue on newspaper or magazine articles that you relate to and draw different things, cut them out and add them as well. Try something like this several times and you may be pleasantly surprised at what you come up with. This is also something that would make a great sketchbook page or pages. At Ashcan, we have a few different really effective ways to help you push your ideas to make your artwork stand out to art school admissions counselors. Keep in mind, when you're making your art portfolio, the goal is to make art that's different from what other people are creating, which you can do by trying out some of these ideas and making them come from your own unique creative voice. Art offers art portfolio preparation classes year-round. Contact us at infomanhattan at ashcanart.com and see the classes we offer at www.ashcanart.com. You can see us on Instagram at ashcanart and please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.